I want you happy. Is that so crazy to even say, even though I don't think about me? I want you to look at the ground and be content with your placement. And when you look back, that is if you look back, I want you to look at the footsteps in the sand and be comfortable enough to take another step without having to worry about the ocean taking them away. When you look at the night sky, I want the moon to be your best friend and not the thing associated with the love that you knew you had, that you knew you could have been only thing sure. The trails that many could have taken, but those many have never taken it with you, could have been the trails that could have led us to the epitome of love, to that place where you could access only when you're sitting in front of a campfire, with frail fingers locked into other frail fingers, sing, sitting in silence because that moment is more precious than any time when those fingers had no limits. Ink. The ink that soaked those countless pages and the pages that were once acres of trees were words that I could have equaled to being the best words that could have been quotes that would eventually be posted just so others that view the post could understand the exact feeling that just sits on the tip of my tongue and when asked a simple response of, oh, it's just a quote, hoping anyone would believe it. Time made it all clear, it made us realize that love is abundant, an infinite well that could never be dry, that could never be tainted or wasted. If that love was the only thing left in a home that was broken after countless years, love would be the indestructible glue that could have held it all together. I write. I write words down hoping I could make sense of the thoughts that take over my head, like when I drive to a place I park, and I don't remember that I made a left, a right, a left, a right, a right, and another right to make it to the place that I claimed as my home. I think my mind forgot itself at the door. That's what happened. My mind forgot itself at the door, and when it came down to it, love welcomed my heart in a warm caress, and the only thing my mind could do is watch from the outside, watching the happiness that I never could have gained from anyone else except myself, watching love intertwine in laughter and subtle sounds of English artists, to watching petals decay in a candle-polluted room where the heat of your body was warmer than any blanket. I want you to be happy. I want you to experience the things that I lacked. I want you to run as fast as your lungs allow, not from the things that scare you, but towards the things you love most. I want you to keep attempting to fly, fly as high and as far as you can, and beyond that point with your hands, holds it, as well as it tells you that you're important. Not to them, but how important you are to this world, because if this world had more people like you, this world would be envious of itself. I want you to be happy. I want you to be yourself. Thank you.